All right. So in less than 24 hours, the Falconers of Nigeria will face Tanzania in the second leg of their under-20 Women's World Cup qualifiers. A one-all draw in the first leg gave the Falconers a little bit of an edge with the away goal score that is. But in reality, both teams will go into the second leg with the belief that they can make it into the next round of qualifiers. Before we get more into details about the match, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. So yeah, the Falconers of Nigeria will be taking on Tanzania in the second leg of their third round clash. The match will be played tomorrow, Sunday, the 19th of November, 4 p.m. Nigerian time to start. And it will be hosted at the MKO Abiola National Stadium in Abuja. As far as watching the match, not too sure what's going to really happen. Is the NFL going to show the match? No word about the NFL showing the match. Of course, the Super Eagles will be playing the same day. So that's going to be a little bit of a clash. Super Eagles play 2 o'clock. The Falcon is playing 4 o'clock. So not too sure that NFF can really expand themselves and do two things at the same time. So we don't really know. And is there going to be somebody individual that's going to show the match again? This sounds like the Falcon is match. Not too sure. But hopefully there is. Let's just hope and wait and see. But either way it goes, if I do see the match being shown, I'll definitely try my best to let you guys know one way or another. So the winner of this contest will be taking on Burundi in the next round, the fourth round of the qualifiers. Burundi got past DR Congo and it ended 3-0, but they won on away goals. So Burundi will be the team weighing on the winner of this tie. Now, speaking of this tie, I wouldn't say I expected the scoreline from the first leg, but I did expect that it was going to be a tough tie. Of course, Tanzania, the majority of their players were part of the Under-17 World Cup, and we saw them shine in that competition. So we definitely knew that this team was going to be having some firepower, especially from those players. Now, that being said, I'm not too sure that they're that good, to be honest, because we didn't really get to see the first leg. We didn't get to see it, period. We just saw the two goals, and that was that. The match was shown live. I don't know why they made sure that we couldn't watch the match, but it is what it is. I really didn't think it was much. If you even see the goal that was scored by Tanzania, the free kick didn't look like much. The free kick was given. They scored and made it one all. And again, like I said, we didn't get to see the full match. So it's not like we can make any real judgment about it. Now, when we get to the second leg, I feel like it's going to come down to coaching. Which team has the better coaching? Which coach makes the better adjustments from the first leg to the second? And I feel like that's what it's going to come down to. Both teams have quality players. Not saying one team is much better than the other or one team is much less than the other or they're even at the same level i'm not saying any of those but i'm saying that both set of players have adequate enough skills that you're just not gonna beat them with your talent you're gonna have to have a game plan you're gonna have to execute this game plan to beat either one of these teams so it's not just gonna be a walkover game the coach is gonna have to earn his pay in this match his decisions from start even substitutions game management things like that they have to be on point this is not a situation where you're gonna get over on the team because you just have the better players it's not gonna work in this situation and I'm hoping that the coach can really make the adjustments and get the job done. I feel like he has a big decision to make in the goalkeeping department. There have been some errors in the past few matches from that department. And I feel like he needs to make the decision right now. Or you're going to stake your job on this situation right here. This is one match. If another mistake happens, you're probably not going to have a second chance. And nobody wants to hear that the Falcon is then qualified for the World Cup. So I feel like that decision truly needs to be made. And um, hopefully he makes the right decision. And also on another day, I believe we have to talk about the under-17 bunch, the salute bunch. Look, this team got the third place at the World Cup 
What a huge feat. No team has ever done that at the under-17 level for Nigeria. And I feel like they're not being treated right. I'm just going to put it out there. I would rather say it after the game. But I'm just going to say it right now. I don't feel like they're treated right. I feel like you handpicked one or two players from their team when their team got a job done that nobody has ever done. It should be more than the amount of players that are on this team. Not putting a limit or a number on it. But I feel like four or five players, that's just not enough enough so let me know your thoughts on the Falconers upcoming match against Tanzania second leg of their third round clash let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe thank y'all for watching Good.